Hello guys, welcome back, I'm glad you're here and in this video we're gonna make wall jump for the player. Thanks to the work we did in the previous tutorials, it's gonna be easy to add wall jump here. And if you want to follow whole tutorial, you can check playlist on my channel on how to make platformer. I'll leave link in the description to the playlist, to the source code and to the course I posted on Udemy a couple of months ago, how to make endless runner, check that as well if you like to. Alright, back in the code what we need to do first is to know if player can actually jump. So we need to create another boolean that's gonna say can wall jump. Then to adjust direction of a jump we need to know facing direction. So we're gonna create private int facing direction and it will be equals to 1 by default. So 1 means facing right, minus 1 means facing left. Now we need to know wall jump direction and I want to be able to see it in the inspector so it's going to be serialized field private vector 2 wall jump direction. Now let's go down and create wall jump function. I'm going to do it right under the jump function here private void wall jump. Now let's determine direction of a wall jump and we're going to use temp vector 2 so it's going to be just vector 2 direction equals new vector 2 wall jump direction dot x multiplied by negative facing direction which means opposite side from where we are looking at opposite side of the facing direction you know that's simple yeah and then wall jump direction dot y now we're going to apply force to the rigid body because I want the wall jump feel like the player was launched like he launches himself with a force Alright, so we're gonna type rb add force is in direction and then we need to type force mod 2d dot impulse. Now let's decide how we're using this wall jump. We go into jump button and type if is wall sliding which means he's attached to the wall and can wall jump then we're gonna call wall jump function. And don't forget to change this if to the else if. Now let's go to flip function and just type facing direction equals to facing direction multiply by minus 1. In this way, every time we flip the character, we're gonna set facing direction to 1 or to minus 1. As we need actually. Now back in Unity, let's select the player, find wall jump direction and change it to the 5 on the X and let's try 15 on the Y. Cool, I think we can test it out and it doesn't work. Let's see why. We can go to debug mode over here and check our booleans uh, and we can see that can wall jump is actually false. So we did never allow player to jump from the wall. As always fix is simple, we just type can wall jump true by default and now he can jump but we can see something is wrong here. He jumps up but not to the side. It happens because when we apply in force, it gets interrupted by player's input. So let's fix that as well. We go into the wall jump and right in the function we type can move equals false. As you remember, our velocity is applied only if player can move. So now velocity won't be applied and player won't be interrupted. And jump works. Cool. Now let's return movement to the player when he is on the ground. So right here and we type can move equals true. I want to check it again and I jump then and I can move. Right. This is what we need. Okay. Now we can see that wall jump is working. Still it feels something is off here. For example this bug is here. Yeah. There is easy fix to that. It's a transition between two animations. So we just need add one more condition. Uh, I want to make it prettier than before. Give me a second. Yeah, okay. So let's take transition from any state to wall slide and add another condition is grounded false. Right. So now we're doing transition only if player is in the air. Okay. There are still some bugs here and we're going to deal with them right now. This one happens because still we have the input and player like moving into the wall when he should not. He should transition into the wall slide. And please don't ask me how do I know that. I just spent a couple of hours to find out. So in the fixed update we're gonna add another condition here else if not is wall detected. 
so movement will be applied only if player not detecting the walls around him. And while we are on this, we need to make cannonball slide false every time we press in the jump button. So just cannonball slide equals to false here. Now we can see it's working, but something still is off here. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about. You can see after double jump, I cannot change the direction of a jump or movement. So we're gonna go back to code and when we're doing double jump, we just said can move equals to true. We need to return movement to the player. And now you can see the results. I can change direction and make some cool moves around the level. Now check this out. There is one more bug. And this happens because... Because why? I don't remember why it happened. Oh no, wait, I know why it happens. All right, so you can see here that wall detection is actually not detecting the wall. So player not transitioning to the wall slide state, let's say. So we need to fix it a little bit. Let's select the player, find wall check and just move it down by a bit. This will give us wanted results. And there is only one more touch up to do here. What I wanna do is let player to get off the wall because now the only way to get off the wall is to perform wall jump. So I wanna make this quick wall slide down when player presses the down button. Let's go to fixed update and we're gonna type if input get axis vertical less than zero, which means someone is pushing down button then I'm gonna type can wall slide false. And voila, we have nice player controller. I can feel like I'm in control of the character and I'm very satisfied with the results. And don't forget to check links in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.